Nobilium. Turn on Scanner. Log in to Dental Wing's program on your computer with password DWOS. This will open up Desktop Screen. On Desktop Screen, double click DW Client and wait to load. When Client opens up, type in ADM for username and password. When Software opens up, left click on the configuration icon and select Scanner Calibration. This will begin to initialize the scanner for calibration. Whenever the scanner is moved from one place to another, a calibration must be done before scanning any other items. Pick up calibration plate using sides of the plate. Do not touch other parts of plate to avoid getting oils on it. Place calibration plate into scanner, tighten screw to keep plate in place, and shut scanner door. With calibration scan plate inside scanner, select fast calibration. Select the start option and wait for scanner to finish calibration. This process could take as long as 15 minutes. When calibration is complete, remove the calibration plate by holding the sides and place it back in its plastic case. Press the OK button and close down the calibration screen. When your desktop looks like this, you are ready to work. Select the creation option from the toolbar at the top of the screen. For scanning impressions, select partial order. Every scan will have a unique identification number. The first two numbers of the ID are the year, the second two numbers are the month, and the third two numbers are the year. The final number that comes after the dash represents the number of scans that have been done for the day. So if the number is 3, that means this will be the third scan today. Under the ID number, you will enter the doctor's name for which the scan is for. And finally, you enter the patient name of which the scan belongs. In the middle of the screen, you will see a drop-down menu to select the material you will be scanning. In this example, we have selected metal. After selecting your material, click on the Route Order button. All orders, no matter what is being scanned, are placed in this manner. After routing your order, go back to the toolbar at the top of the screen and select your scanner. Now you can mount whatever it is you are wanting to scan. Here we will mount an impression. First, mount the impression on the impression tray holder. It is important to leave enough room between the top of the holder and the base of the impression so the holder screw won't get in the way of your scan. Screw the impression tray into the scanner, doing your best to have the impression centered in the middle of the scanner chamber. Shut the scanner door. Now back to the Dental Wing software. On the left side of the screen, you will see a list of cases you have created. Select the case you want to and simply drag and drop into the center of the screen. This menu will now appear. This menu offers three selections, an impression with a bite, an impression with a tray, and a positive model. For this example, we will select model with tray and then select OK. A shot of your impression inside the machine will appear on the screen along with a blue outline in the shape of an upside down U. Utilizing the right click, you are able to maneuver the model or impression around inside the machine. The main goal when moving the impression is to see right inside the teeth. This will get a better scan. When you are satisfied with how much impression you are seeing, you now must move the outline into place. On the outline are small dots. These dots are what you use to adjust the size, shape, and placement of the outline. First, we will left-click on the top dot in the middle ring and place the middle line around the inside of the papilla. Next, by clicking and holding the bottom middle dots, you can extend the length of the lines so the outline can get more coverage of the impression. The main goal is to adjust the outline by moving the dots so that the whole impression is inside the blue outline. Here you can see how pulling the dots in certain directions adjusts the size and shape of the outline. Anything inside the outer blue line is what will be captured by the scan. When you are satisfied with the shape of the scan outline, click the check mark in the upper right hand corner. Your scan will now begin. Your progress can be seen in the lower part of the screen by the blue status bar. If the scanner misses a part of the impression, you have the ability to rescan that section of the impression. By holding down the Alt button and the left click on your mouse, you can move the scan around so that the section you wish to rescan appears in the center of your screen. Now right click and select Rescan Specific Area. This box will appear and you can further define the area you would like to rescan. 
The yellow dots work just like the initial blue dots and can be moved around to select the area to rescan and then press OK. This process can be repeated until you are satisfied with your final scan. You can also fill small holes. Right click on the model and at the bottom of the open box will be a fill holes option. By selecting this, any small holes will be filled to complete the scan. You are also able to trim away part of the scan you do not need. Right click on the scan and select Remove Scan Faces. This will open up a window with several options. These tools allow you to trim in different ways. There is a brush tool, a section tool, among others. The areas you select using this tool will turn red. To remove these red areas from the scan, hit the Delete tool. You can delete all the red, or you can also choose to delete everything but the red. Be careful not to delete anything the dental technician will need for their work, as this cannot be replaced other than rescanning after selecting OK. Once the scan is complete, you are ready to save and send to the lab.